Hi, this is Sci-Fi Buzz. I'm Mike Jarek. Welcome to the show. I've finally done it. I dumped the Sci-Fi staff and replaced them with some personnel from the K&B effects group. Aren't they wonderful? This is going to be a lot more fun. These people seem to have the heads for science fiction, fantasy, and horror. Especially horror, I believe. You know, speaking of K&B, in the five years they've been together over there, they have become one of the hottest makeup effects houses in Los Angeles. Let's zoom over there to K&B and see how they're doing. Hi, welcome to K&B. Come on in. Less than five years after banding together, the makeup effects wizards at K&B can boast of having contributed to classic scenes from films like Dances with Wolves, City Slickers, and Misery. So makeup effects deals with anytime you're dealing with cosmetic, when you're seeing skin or you're seeing hair, things like that, where you have a creature or you have someone that has a prosthetic makeup on, like in um, The Elephant Man stuff like that. That's makeup effects. You're dealing with dummy animals, dummy bodies, prosthetics, creatures, uh, animatronic, mechanical creatures. Makeup effects artists are often the first ones brought onto a project once it goes into production. After all, their work will play a crucial role in the overall look of the film. I, I like this ear better than this one simply because of the fact that it kind of goes along the side of the head. Mm -hmm. Like less hair, it looks more evil. So a lot of times when we go in and we talk to the director, we will storyboard sequences early on in the production, suggesting shots. This is the best way to shoot this. Then we take those storyboards and we show the art department. All right, we need this wall built, and it has to have a hole in it so we can operate our puppet. We have to talk to the wardrobe people and say we need five different versions of this shirt, so when the, rip, the creature rips out of it, we can do take two. So it's, it's, a pretty, it's a pretty monumental job because it's not just, we're not just sitting here doing whatever we want. La, 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 oh, this is fun here. You know, we have to execute it all the way through. So it's a, it's a pretty big deal. Recent K&B projects include Army of Darkness, in which their dead-eyed warriors played a crucial role, and Friday the 13th, Part 9, Jason Goes to Hell. K&B partner Bob Kurtzman guarantees this version of the Jason tale is chock full of nasty, nifty effects. Things are different in this film. They aren't just cut a guy's head off. We actually had creatures after you cut the head off, something comes out. It's not just the head laying there. Which brings us to an interesting point. What kind of person does it take to whip up these often grotesque creations? I think a common misconception in the world is that effects guys are all really sick. People go, oh my God, that was really gross. He like picked up that heart and he bit into it. It's like, yeah, but it was a gelatin heart with like Welsh's grape jelly stuck in it. It wasn't real. I mean, like, that so a lot of times, and even with Gross Anatomy, which we did all the cadavers for, people go, oh, you guys are really sick. And, but it's, it's, it's an art form. I mean, for us, it's a, we look at it as it's a sculpture. It's a piece of urethane airbrushed and painted. We don't really look at things like it's a body or because it's all fake. Though K&B has had their hands in all types of movies, made on all types of budgets, they find the atmosphere on small budget sets is usually a lot of fun, whereas the set on big budget films is often much more serious. Well, genre films tend to not take themselves so seriously because they kind of say, well, it's a horror movie, we can have a little fun with it. You know, when, I remember when we were doing Dances with Wolves, it was, okay, put the buffalo over here, we're going to stake, you know, we were carrying, we had a little stretcher, we were carrying our buffalo all around. And it, it, I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that with bigger mainstream movies, there's a lot more money involved. We're talking, you know, 30, 40 million dollar films. Of course, there's more at stake. But in the world of K&B, all projects are created equal. No matter what the budget, they want their makeup effects to generate a spirited audience response. The most rewarding thing is being in a theater and hearing everyone go, no, God, they're not going to do that really, and then bam, and they do it, and everyone freaks out, and we're sitting there going, hey, 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 ooh. You know, that's a lot of fun, really a lot of fun. The folks over at KNB are working on the film Pumpkinhead 2. I love Pumpkinhead 1, so this should be great. It stars Roger Clinton, by the way, the president's brother, and Roger is going to play a character by the name of Mayor Bubba. KNB is also working on two projects with director John Carpenter. There you go. Now, staff. Uh, who needs to know how to use the fax?